guys, so I haven't been on YouTube for a while because, well, I didn't have my laptop and I didn't feel it very well so I took a small break but I'm back now and as you can see I am wearing this weird lion hat but I'm wearing it for a reason. Today I'm gonna do the Luna Lovegood tag. So before I'm gonna go into the tag, I'm gonna explain um, what it's about. Well, it's about Luna, obviously. You may or may not know Tessa Netting on YouTube. Uh, she's also a huge Harry Potter and Luna fan, and she's amazing. She created a fundraising page called Luna for Lumos, where they raise money for the charity Lumos, which is created by J.K. Rowling. Basically, they help children who live in orphanages. I'm not good at explaining things, so I'm just gonna leave the links uh, in the description box. Uh, link to Tessa's video where she explains it perfectly. I will also uh, add the link to the page. If you can, it would be great if you could donate and if you can't then um, you could always just spread awareness and maybe someone you know or someone around you can donate. That would be great. Also it looks like I'm not wearing anything but I am actually wearing this living the love good way shirt that i made and this is my um charm to keep away the nargles before i move to the tag i want to talk about something to do that first we need to go back in time hi okay so basically what i want to talk about before i do the tag is Luna and the Nargles. A few years ago, uh, me and some friends, let me see, our names are, <laughs> me and some friends, <laughs> we decided to start a wizard rock band called Luna and the Nargles, but we were from all around the world, so we couldn't actually come together to make the music. Everyone kind of went their own way, except we, <laughs> we made this t-shirt, but that's it. <laughs> we did write one song, but it was funny. Um, anyway, one of my resolutions for this year was to pick up Luna and the Nargles again. Since everyone kind of went their own way, I'm gonna try and do this on my own. Uh, so it's gonna be, well, Luna and one Nargle. I'm the Nargle. <laughs> we had a YouTube channel, but the thing is that no one remembers the password or no one remembers the, like, the email address linked to it. So we can't use that one anymore. Also, I found another Luna and the Nargles on YouTube recently. That is not us. Uh, I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know if they knew that the name wasn't available. But uh, anyway, I made a new YouTube channel. I will put a link in the description box if you're interested. Also, if you keep watching this video at the end, I will show a sneak peek of a song that I'm working on. And now I'm gonna go back to what this video was about. Okay, let's go to the tag while my phone is loading. Can we take a moment to appreciate my bookshelf, which I arranged especially for this video? <laughs> Because if you would see the other side of the room, you will be shocked. <laughs> so I did, you know, I tried to, I tried to make it aesthetically pleasing, and I think I did well. Look at all the Harry Potter. Look at my tiny Luna. Okay. Meanwhile, my phone is ready. Okay. So the first question is. If you could pick one of Luna's qualities, personality traits that you don't already have, what would it be? <laughs> okay, so that is an easy one. Uh, it would definitely be that she just doesn't care about what anyone thinks. I mean, I often say like, oh, I don't care, but I do actually care. You know, she has her unique style and just everything about her is different and weird, but she just really doesn't care what other people think. I'm also always the outsider, but I do feel uncomfortable about it. Sometimes when I'm in a group of people and I feel like I don't fit in, I can't just say I don't care because I do care. And I think Luna, she would just sit there and 
just be in her dream world and just really she wouldn't care so that is really why I love Luna so much she's just confident in being different so that that kind of confidence that she has about who she is yeah I would love to have that trait okay second question if you had magic what one muggle struggle would you use it to help probably just to be able to accio everything my way that would be great that's a muggle struggle because I'm lazy I could also use a rememberal I literally forget everything but then the thing about rememberals is that it doesn't say what you forgot so I don't think it would be of any use to me if I can't see what I forgot like, oh oh I know my room is always a mess so if I had magic I would be able to be like Dumbledore and just be like and then everything would just start cleaning up itself that would, that would be great the third question make up your own creature like the blibbering humdinger or crumplehorn snork egg oh okay I have something in mind but I don't have a name for it yet so maybe at the end of the video I will have found a name otherwise you guys can help me find a name for it okay so basically it's a creature that is it's not invisible but it's not visible for human eyes so it's kind of invisible but it's not some animals can see it some creatures can see it just not us I don't know what it looks like because I haven't seen it because despite what you may think I am a human being <laughs> unfortunately so it's a creature it's small that's what I know I know that it's small and basically in times of need so when you feel bad or you have negative thoughts or whatever it's like a voice that whispers in your ear it's like the voice in your head like when you have negative thoughts you know that the thing like the negativity in your head that just keeps I don't know how to say it, but anyway so it's that or the other way around so it's like a positivity creature that just whispers good things in your ear <laughs> I know anything anything you need at that moment it will be there to guide you and to tell you that you are amazing and that you are loved and that you are great it's a creature <laughs> that is always there for you when you need it basically okay the next question if you could change Luna's Patronus what would you change it to and why I wouldn't change Luna's Patronus because that's what makes Luna Luna I mean everyone's Patronus is unique I think Tessa also said this to change it into a testral I think yeah that that could be Luna's Patronus if I really had to change it I would probably change it to a testral but I wouldn't change it <laughs> next question Luna has a unique sense of style she loves her dirigible plum earrings and cork necklace oh there you go what's one piece of clothing or item of jewelry that means something to you and why <sighs> I'm not a jewelry person well I am but I'm like I love jewelry but I just never wear it because I'm lazy and I forget and I lose stuff all the time I would say my Deathly Hallows necklace which I think Brizzy Voices also said <laughs> but like I said I lose everything and I have no idea where it is now but I do have Deathly Hallows tattooed in my neck I don't know if you can see it does that count as jewelry because <laughs> I always have it with me so the reason why I said Deathly Hallows usually I wear it when I go to an audition or do something that is stressful or something that makes me nervous and then I wear it and usually everything goes fine then maybe it's just in my head like it's not that when it's an audition it's not that I get chosen but it's more like it goes well like it goes okay in my head like in my mind and I'm fine with what I did Luna loves pudding aha what's one Hogwarts food that you wish you could try all of it literally all of it if you could cross Luna over into any other fandom universe what would it be and why 
I know Tessa said Doctor Who, which I really like. Luna would be a great companion. As a universe, maybe Alice in Wonderland. If Luna started a course like Hermione's SPEW, what do you think it would be for? I think something with animals or magical creatures. I don't know what, but something for animal rights or magical creature rights. Like something that Newt Scamander is doing in Fantastic Beasts. Like that's not really a cause, but you know, that idea I think. I think she would just help anyone that is struggling, basically. Could be animals, could be human beings, could be aliens. <laughs> if Luna were a muggle, what profession do you think she'd be in? Okay, Luna would definitely be an artist. I don't know what kind of art she would do, but she would be an artist. Okay, last question is, what does Luna Lovegood mean to you? Luna means a lot to me. She basically made me who I am today, if that makes sense. It's weird because I can't remember my first reaction to Luna. I don't know how old I was. I do remember that in times of need, she was there. <laughs> when I would feel alone, I would just read the books or watch the movies or do something Luna related. Just think about what would Luna do. That has really helped me a lot when I didn't know what to do and um, I was struggling. I used to think, what would Luna do? Luna, I could talk about Luna for hours and hours and hours and hours. Hi, so while editing, I realized that I forgot to mention that I have a tattoo dedicated to Luna. Um, so it's, it's the quote, you're just as sane as I am, which is one of my favorite quotes. If you're planning on doing the tag or you've already done the Luna Lovegood tag, please let me know. Oh yeah, so here's the sneak peek of the song I was talking about and I will see you guys probably on Sunday. I hope so. Okay. Knox. I lost my shoes again. I lost my shoes again. I suspect the nibbles are behind. That's all I have for now. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey guys, so I <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. This is fun. <laughs> wow, that made me dizzy. Gives away the narcos. I lost my shoes again. I lost my shoes again. I suspect the narcos are behind.